We're in the wonderful city of Christchurch, a lovely summer's day here, and we're getting ready for the World Bowls Championship Men's Pairs Final here at the Burnside Bowling Club in Christchurch. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, would you, the finalists for the World Bowls Championships 2008 Men's Pairs Final. First of all, from a team which played 10, won 9 and lost 1 in section play, beat Fiji and Malaysia to get to this situation, the team from Scotland, Billy Mellors and Darren Burnett. They had a similar road to the final. They played 11, they lost just one. They beat South Africa and Australia to get through to this situation of the final. From New Zealand, Russell Meyer and Gary Lawson. So there we are, the competitors here today shaking hands and getting ready for this final. Scotland against New Zealand, you see the scoreboard there, nil all, they play 18 ends. The umpires today are Mark Cowan and Leo Crimmins, the shot indicator is Mort Young and the scoreboard attendants are Tony Burbage and Malcolm Kidd and of course our commentators Terry and Stu Scott. So it's Russell Meyer delivering the jack on the first end, that's the skip for New Zealand, Gary Lawson. And a little bit of tension in Gary Lawson's face, as you'd expect, as we go into the first end of a playoff for gold between New Zealand and Scotland. And Terry Scott, conditions are good. No wind, and the green's running freely. They're just absolutely perfect conditions here at Burnside. The green has been prepared immaculately. There's no breeze. Any rain or that was around earlier in the day has disappeared, and the green running at around about 16, 16 and a half seconds. Ideal conditions here for this magnificent final we've got in store. And a great opening start, too, for Russell Meyer of New Zealand right alongside the jack. That's a good start. Red balls of Russell Meyer, pink balls from Gary Lawson, and now we see the armory of the Scottish player, the lead, Billy Mellors. He's also playing down the same hand as Russell Meyer with the brown bowl. Perhaps a little bit wider than the line taken by Russell Meyer, and it's a little bit wide. Yes, uh, very nervous players here in the opening stanza for this, uh, what should be a magnificent final players have been in outstanding form right throughout the competition excellent results from both teams having only lost one game in section play some very very good semi-finals and now we've come to the ultimate the final of the men's and world bowls pairs my second bowl just comes to rest as you see on picture now and you see the second bowl now being played by billy mellers in the pairs it's four bowls each player and if you're watching bowls for the first time it's pretty easy to work out the closest bowl scores one shot then the next closest bowl from the same team gets two shots and so on, of course, up to a maximum of eight shots. But uh, there wouldn't be many eights, I wouldn't think, in this class. Oh, certainly not at this level of the game. And uh, big change probably from what uh, regular bowlers are used to. We have got uh, each player playing four bowls. It is the only event that uh, they play four bowls. The lead plays his four, then the skip. It is the international way of playing. And that's what we're playing under the international laws of the game here at this the World Championships spray gun out a little bit earlier on and so far as the leads are concerned <laughs> just getting a feel of the green they have had trial ends but they need to uh, uh, settle down when they get into the competition stage as we see the third bowl coming in from Billy Mallows and that is definitely the shot it's right in on the jack it's the burgundy bowl of Billy Mallows it is the shot excellent first up uh, bowl then well it's his uh, third bowl but uh, good bowl as you see on screen in a moment it's right next to the jack changed his hand, played down the left hand side as we look at it from behind the mat but as you see on screen now it's coming out that uh, right hand side of the pitcher and he's playing down the backhand side and that's the, that's the, they started on the forehand side first now changed hands. Yes, uh, simply because the third bowl of Russell Myers as we could just see there at the top of the screen uh, was blocking the draw line for them on the forehand, both players changed over to the backhand and this is the last bowl coming down for Billy Mellors now. <laughs> Two shots at least for the Scotland side as it's the skips now who'll play there four bowls. Gary Lawson, two down. What will he play on this occasion? Uh, he will be just drawing at the start. He'll be looking to get something close, get a feel of the green, get his draw game underway. Sealed himself down and he's been in immaculate form throughout this tournament. I was watching him yesterday in the semi-final and he was simply quite outstanding, uh, Gary Lawson. 
And we see the pink bowl in Gary Lawson's hand. He's playing with a bit of weight, just on the run, running towards the head on the back end. It looks narrow to me, and it will be, and it'll just slide away, but played with just a fraction of weight early on for those uh, two shot bowls. A very firm weight from Gary uh, Gary Lawson. I was surprised, really. I, I feel that he has to get, a, get his draw game underway. Then he can play a shot play. It's surprising to see his first bowl. Remember, of course, they have got four bowls. He has uh, another three to recover with. Uh, I'd like to see Gary really try to get something close. He's got the ability to be able to draw this shot. So... Here we go. This is the skip of the Scotland side, Darren Burnett. We saw him in the champion champion singles a couple of years ago at the Fennelton Club. And he won on that occasion the gold medal in the champion champion singles, a world event. On this occasion, his blue ball goes through the head. But uh, that position may come into play, being at the back of the head. Certainly so. He's given himself the opportunity to uh, put some cover in. As we see Gary Lawson going back to what I thought he would do, try and settle into the draw. Looks to be on a reasonably good line, though. I must say that the uh, early indications show that the bowls are taking a good draw down on the back end. Gary Lawson chasing his bowl up the head, and he's coming up short. So you see there the two burgundy bowls, which are the shot. And we see now the blue bowl from... Darren Burnett, the policeman yeah. in yeah, Scotland. And he's not no going ball right ball. down to the head with this bowl, but he's pretty happy. It's still towards the back of the head. You see right down the bottom of the screen. Could come into play. Uh, Gary Lawson standing, studying the head. What shall I play, Stixie? Stick. Russell Meyer, his lead. <laughs> Gary Lawson, he's had a run-up, he's had a draw, and he's going to be drawing again, just on the backhand side. Well, he's running again at the shot poles. He could get a wick here, he does get a wick, and he moves the jack, and will it stay in bounds? No, it won't, so the first end on this, the match between Scotland and New Zealand in the pairs has been killed. Good drive. Well, uh, was it fortunate to get the result? Very fortuitous result for Gary Lawson. He was narrow once again, and I see him down there. We see on the screen just practicing that run shot again. He got both those run shots away very narrow, and he was lucky he caught the edge of his own bowl, came back to one of the shot bowls, hit edged the jack, straight out the side, out of the rink, end to be replayed. So, no score in the first end. And we'll see the jack delivered again by <laughs> Russell Meyer. <coughs> A little bit shorter perhaps this time, the jack, just fractionally. And I'll get an opportunity for Russell Meyer to get his draw going. It's interesting what uh, Terry Scott said about that. We'll come up with that a bit later on. Again, the rhythm necessary. <coughs> the jack's been delivered and the bowl arrives from Russell Meyer. That's his first bowl on the replay of the first end. Yes, the opening bowl of Russell Meyer, far better than what he started on the previous end, which uh, was uh, fortuitously killed by Gary Lawson. And when the jack goes out of bounds, outside the rink pegs, they replay that end. It's an end not played, not counted on the scorecard. It's uh, simply replayed, and this is the commencement of that first end. So good opening bowl from the lead for Scotland, Billy Mellors. And reply now from Russell Meyer, working down that uh, forehand side. Heavy. Those trial ends they have are important in trying to get an angle of the green conditions, the weight required and the grass required. But uh, it's a little bit of a nervous start. Yes, it is a nervous start. It is the World Bowls final, and I'm sure both players are, are feeling a little tense about it, hoping that they can get off to a good start. And at the moment, the bowl's just uh, being sprayed around a little bit. The trial ends are held, and both players should have some idea as to the pace of the green and uh, the, the draw line that the bowls are taking. 
They just need to settle in. I think it'll be the, the team that settles in the quickest will be the successful one in this, the final. Short again, but a couple of shots, plenty of room for the lead of Scotland, Billy Mellors. 33 year old. He's a service delivery consultant in Scotland. Also likes playing golf and watching football, as everybody does in Britain. And he picks up the jack and drags it back for three. Oh, that's a sensational by, bowl by the Scotland lead, Billy Mellors. Oh, outstanding bowl by Billy Mellors. We have a look at it again, playing down on the forehand. Bowl sneaking around the front ones of Russell Meyer, picking up the jack, taking it back to his first two bowls and hiding it in behind the uh, front bowls of Russell Meyer makes it difficult for them. They've got to be on the draw. Hopefully, for New Zealand's sake, Russell Meyer can get something in. Well, that's just simply making it a little bit more difficult for Gary Lawson. Three short bowls from Russell Meyer, all blocking the entrance way for Gary Lawson to get into these shot bowls of Billy Mallers. Burgundy bowls of Billy Mallers. Waves it in, hopes it turns. Oh, well, bonus for him, getting some cover. Well, it's right on ditch here. Uh, it was just uh, probably uh, might be two or three feet off the ditch. But um, for Gary Lawson, he uh, is coming with his first bowl and he's down on the head again. Yes, it's been a tough situation, tough start for Gary Lawson. This is the replay of the first end. Play on the draw, he's got an opportunity to bring up Myers bowl, he's playing with weight, got the advantage here, he's got not a bad bowl, he got the, into one of Russell Myers bowls, went through, took one of the shot bowls out. This is a difference, uh, having four bowls, each player having four bowls, it just changes the so shot selection and uh, Gary Lawson looking at opening up the front, got a result with that drive, took out one of the shot bowls, he's still two down. But uh, handicap Gary Lawson that these got the Russell Myers short bowls in front of the target now. Gary Lawson's a great attacker on the drive or on the run, but uh, if he hasn't got a clean target, it's not quite as good for his type of play. He likes the direct approach, and at the moment, there's two Russell Meyer bowls you see there on screen in front of the target area, and it's meant that uh, the bowl of the skip, Darren Burnett's gone to the towards the back of the rink again, and it's Gary Lawson again. This time he's on the draw. Oh, that's very narrow. What do you think, Terry Scott? Gary didn't really seem to get that bowl away that well. It's just a little bump when it came out of his hand and forced the bowl. It's going narrow, extremely narrow. Weight was good. Narrow. Needed to be around those front bowls of Russell Myers. Very quickly off the mat is Darren Burnett. Uh, no sooner was Gary Lawson's bowl stopped that Darren Burnett has delivered his mind made up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be down here drawing another shot. Ball by the Scotland skip, Darren Burnett at three. Lawson still got two bowls to come from Lawson. You can see there the three shots. And now the skip, and that's Russell Meyer watching a little bit pensively. Three down at the moment. He's got a couple of short bowls in the running of Gary Lawson, who again is just playing with a fraction weight. Better grass. Early on a better line too. Lawson played it very, very well. He certainly gave the bowl a chance then. He has to look coming down that line. I just don't know whether he's playing with a little bit too much weight. Now for Scotland, will they draw or will they go into position? Oh, they've presently got a couple of bowls in behind. Any contact with the jack and it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag at the back of the, uh, of the rink. I think that... Uh, Darren Burnett will be looking to add to this collection he's got at the moment. Uh, be a great start for them if they pick up a three or a four. Harry Lawson's certainly got some other thoughts in his mind, but he's only got one bowl left. Do we get himself out of this situation? So the skip for Scotland. Has three, looking to make it four. On this, the first end of the gold medal match. Christchurch, New Zealand. And it's got a nice line. Now, I wonder about the weight. Weight looks pretty good too. And that is four shots to Scotland.
quite an outstanding start from Scotland. They've got onto the pace of the green very, very quickly after the replay of the first end, and all sorts of pressure being placed on Gary Lawson as we see him holding the pink bowl out to deliver on his forehand. He can just work into it. He doesn't want to have too much weight, wants to get a catch. Certainly got a lot more green than what he had with his previous bowl. Looks to be wide. It's going out the outside of it. He is definitely going to be four down, and there's another bowl up the spout. There's uh, still one to come from Darren Burnett, so this could be a real tragic start for New Zealand. Right. Scotland in the box seat. Have four, looking to make it five, and a bowl to come from Darren Burnett. Concern from Russell Meyer. And now, does Darren Burnett of Scotland want the bonus on this the replay of the first end has four looking to make it five and delivers on the forehand side he's on the move to the policeman following this one down looks to be nicely weighted i wonder about the grass is it too wide starts to come in now is it going to be five and will it stop well pulls in well it looks to be Five to me. We'll wait and see what uh, our marker Mort Young yes. will indicate. Definitely the five. He indicates five, and is Scotland leading New Zealand by five to nil. Great draw play from the Scotland side, both lead and skip. Yes. Well, the tragedy started when. Uh, Billy Mallis trailed the jack to his own two bowls and uh, put uh, Gary Lawson on the back foot, having to play the weighted shot, trying to get some catches. There really wasn't much to hook onto. The bowls were pretty close into the jack. And then some outstanding bowls from Darren Burnett, drawing three of his four bowls into the shot, into the count. Scotland picking up a five. What a great start for them. And bowlers will say, well, how come New Zealand's got the mat? Well, the answer for that is in rules being played at these World Championships and globally, the winning skip has the opportunity of either taking the mat or giving away on this occasion they've given away and that gives them the opportunity with the last bowl yes it's a, it's a very moot point as to whether you take the jack or give it away and uh, the winner has the opportunity the score line 5-0 at the moment it's Zealand. Uh, has the bowl behind the jack. That's the Russell Meyer bowl. And we've had one delivery from the lead for Scotland. That's uh, Billy Millers. And now we're seeing the second from Russell Meyer. New Zealand were given the mat by Scotland. And that's why the Scotland side have the last bowl. And it's a big advantage, especially in attacking play. Yes, and I think it's uh, sometimes it gives a little bit of an unfair advantage. I think the advantage of having that last bowl is, is too great. It, it really is a, a moot point, the law, amongst a lot of players at the present time as to whether it should be in existence or not. It got changed uh, just over a couple of years ago, and it's been in existence since then. A lot of contention as to whether you have the last bowl or not. I, previously, the winner of the end always had to take the mat and the jack the opposing person had the last bowl. The loser of the end had the last bowl as we watch Russell Meyer performing better, much better on this end, the second end, nestling in behind the jack. Hopefully for New Zealand's sake, he can put some pressure back onto the Scottish team after dropping that disastrous five in the first end. Long way to go, 18 ends to play, and this is the final of the men's appears. Delivery from Billy Mellis is wide, so New Zealand doing a lot better on this the second end with Russell Moore off the front very important for the lead to get bowls near the jack so that then the skip is able to add to it or play the attacking shots necessary but you do need bowls around the jack and on this occasion Russell Meyer has provided a better platform coming up short with his fourth bowl Ellis. on the forehand on the drive Billy Mellors connecting with the front bowl well, it was unusual they've prepared to take the attacking approach right from the lead uh, 
Checking off with the uh, drive on this, the second end, it's certainly uh, not hesitating to uh, attack the head and connecting the front ball that was short, but presently at the moment it's New Zealand that's lying at two shots. Two? Could it be three? Two. Just two. So opportunity now for the skip for New Zealand, Gary Lawson. Based in Canterbury, plays a lot of club bowls for the Eastbourne Club in Wellington, by the seaside in Eastbourne. But he's a true Cantabrian at heart, I can assure you. And he's played a very good bowl here, has Gary Lawson. It's a fair sized target. Yes, I, uh, I'm sure we'll see Darren Burnett attacking this. Down on the backhand, he's got opportunities of connecting bowl or jack. Target's just a little bit bigger for him to play on the backhand, but uh, a lot of bowlers don't hesitate these days on uh, which particular hand. They're pretty accurate on the drive, and we'll see how accurate Darren Burnett is on this occasion. So Darren Burnett of Scotland removes the hat on the launching pad and just runs at the head. Not a full drive, and it needed a lot more weight to have a target like that. Yes, I, I don't think the weight was so much the problem. It was just the accuracy and... Uh, if he wanted to go down that line, it's certainly so. He did need some more weight. Uh, but I, I don't really know if uh, Burnett drives a lot faster than that, having seen him performing here a couple of years ago in the uh, the World Champion Champion singles, which he was the winner of. As Gary Lawson delivers his second bowl, and this could be a disruptive bowl as far as the Scottish are concerned. Locked it up a little bit. See Burnett on the second drive. Always oh, wide too, that one. It's, uh, it's the, it, it's, that's the speed, isn't it? That's the speed for that sort of speed. He needs to take more grass. Yes, that's, that's the speed that uh, Darren Burnett tends to play his weighted shots at. Um, he just needs, as you say, he needs to take a little bit more green. New Zealand currently holding a three. <coughs> Looking to make it four as the pink bowl arrives towards the head and he will make it another shot. It's a big target. Yes, uh, Russell Meyer trying to urge uh, Gary Lawson to turn his own bowl over as Darren Burnett once again on the run. He looks to be a lot closer on this occasion. He's going to make some connection. What sort of result will he get? He gets nothing. He connects the front bowl. Sails on through the gap. It's still New Zealand. It's lying four shots. Darren Burnett, one bowl left. Gary Lawson, one bowl left. Could be a big turnaround on the second end. You see that Scotland picked up a five on the replay of the first end. Now a chance for Lawson to add to four to make it five shots on the second end with Burnett a bowl to come. On target two and just comes across slightly. Well, what a turnaround. Well, New Zealand won't be unhappy about the last bowl from Gary Lawson. It made the target a lot tighter than what it was, particularly if Burnett's trying to hit the jack, which he really needs. If he hits the front bowl of Lawson, you could see some of those bowls lock. New Zealand's still coming up with a three or a four, which is definitely what they need to get themselves going in this game. So a crucial bowl for the Scotland lead, Darren Burnett, is four down, five down, five down, and he just uh, wipes his hands slightly. The pressure grabs hold of the cloth in his left hand and let's fly with the drive looks to be on target two he has got two out three out and ends up with just say two down or three down yes i think he's a drastic reduction in the uh, score on that end darren burnett with the drive taking out at least three of the new zealand bowls they've definitely got one possibly two so russell meyer is measuring now between his red bowl and the brown bowl swings around and is it two or just the one swings across looks to be two it is two and it's two to new zealand and it is scotland leading new zealand by five to two after two ends good drive from darren burnett reduced the count he really only had a one bowl target half a jack very very good drive from darren burnett Reducing the count, he was a five down, bringing it back to two. That was a great result for Scotland. So New Zealand has given the mat away. And Jack delivered by the lead for the Scotland side, Billy Mellors. Nice deliver. 
delivery. Down the forehand side. Ali Mellers. On target too. He's leading well off the front. Yeah, very, very steady to the and uh, we recall when the play was going this way the previous time, picking up the five shots, the Scottish team. Five two score line after two ends. Of course, there's been a replay of one end, so it is only <laughs> two ends gone. And it's 5-2. The reply from Russell Maher to the right of the jack. Right behind it is the lead bowl from Billy Mellers. Looking to make it two. Has one. Looking to make it two. Shows his versatility to change hands too. Consistency on the front is just so important in pairs. With four bowls and superb shot play from players like Gary Lawson and we saw a good shot too from Darren Burnett. Yes it's very important that the bowls get, uh, that the leads get very handy bowls in the uh, opening stages of the end. As we've seen in the last couple of ends the two bowls from Russell Meyer previously and then of course Billy Mellers on the first end. They were the scoring bowls at the end of play. There will never be a shortage of attacking play from the skips. Uh, both of them have shown that in the first two ends. And they're sure to continue. Russell Meyer. Good effort, mate. New Zealand lead, formerly from Palms North, now based in England. He's toured the world bowling. bowling. Spent some time in Australia and now spends a lot of time in England with a love interest. Yes, Russell Meyer, who turned uh, 36 earlier this month. <coughs> Been in the New Zealand team uh, for a long time and. Uh, on each occasion that he's played for New Zealand in the World Bowls has come away with a bronze medal. Four bronze medals in total. The last uh, two World Bowls that he's participated in. Looking for a better medal this time. Certainly we'll be getting a silver, but we're wanting a gold. Yes, he commented yesterday that uh, he's sick of bronze, so at least he's in the gold medal or silver medal stakes now. I'm sure that uh, the gold would be far more to his liking than the silver. But at the moment, as you can see on screen, it's still Scotland holding two. Lawson, tensive. Was a very good tennis player early on. And uh, I think he's New Zealand ranked. Very good tennis player. Fiery tennis players, as you'd expect. Oh, certainly so, and also on the rugby field. First 5-8, I First think. Five. New Zealand hold one. One bowl to come. Here comes the Burnett bowl. Gets a bit of a result on his own bowl, but uh, it's a slice of hell because it goes back and there's the bowl, the pink bowl, waiting for the jack. So, the bonus, and uh, this is easy stuff for Gary Lawson. Delivers his bowl. See, there's just a slight step in front already now he just launches forward slightly beautiful balance and given it plenty of grass slide around the group of bowls and then towards the jack and it would need to stop just about now and and it is two and we get an indicator from Russell Meyer for two with his fingers to I think that was the uh, they're great mates, that's what it was, wasn't it? It was an indication of two. Mm. And yes. it will be two if we can trust Russell Meyer. Well, he's measuring the blue bowl, determining which is the closest blue bowl for the Scottish team. That will be the one that he's going to now. No. <laughs> Measured the closest at blue bowl. And we'll now go to the two pink bowls of Gary Lawson. That'll be it, doesn't it? I thought so. And it 
turning to Mort the... Young usually has a bit of a quick indicator. Well, that's definitely the shot. Definitely one. And it is two. two. So New Zealand hit the front after five ends. They lead Scotland by 7-5 in the battle for gold. He's got very good uh, eyes, Russell Moore. He's always a good indicator. You just have a bit of a quick glance. And I saw the, the two-finger um, show to Gary Lawson. Scoreline 7-5, New Zealand over Australia. That's after six of the 18 ends uh, over Scotland. And why I mention Australia, because just uh, along beside me is Ian Shubeck from Australia, a former Australian player, also involved in the coaching of the Australian team. And uh, welcome to New Zealand, uh, Ian. I know you've been here plenty of times before, but you always enjoy it. Yes, uh, Stu, especially on these wonderful greens at Burnside. Ideal for this final men's pair. So, at the moment, you see there the two Burgundy Bowls played by mm. the lead Billy Millers of uh, Scotland. And uh, in, there's no doubt about it, he has been on top off the front at the moment, the, the Scotland lead. Yes, I've watched uh, Russell Meyer quite a bit throughout the pool matches, Stu, and uh, he has been a little bit patchy. He's not playing poorly, but uh, as you mentioned, Billy Mellors, he's on song. Ideal conditions today, no wind. Yesterday in the semi-final and quarter-final, northwesterly, it was, it was a, such a stiff breeze and so hard to get within a metre of the jack, but uh, both leads peppering the jack today. 7-5 advantage New Zealand has came after dropping a five on the first, and uh, I'm sure that was a nightmare start. Yes, although... Gary Lawson, he's <laughs> everybody that knows Gaz, he's such a fighter and uh, he's a great front runner as well. And now that New Zealand have hit the front, Stuart, uh, wouldn't mind betting that Russell Meyer, he's likely to hit his straps now and start out drawing Billy up front. Really is, um, pairs played with four bowls per player, really is a skip's game. The skip must play well. Lawson will be happy with that. Very happy with Russell Meyer. I have a shot, but he's uh, played it very well. See, that's how close it is, but I can assure you that the brown bowl is pretty close to the burgundy bowl of... Uh, what's your call, Ian? Uh, definitely one to Russell Meyer in New Zealand. Picked up the jack, clean. Was lucky not to jam on Billy Mallow's bowl. Stayed with it. A lot of discussion at uh, headquarters here regarding the rule that uh, you can give the mat away or give the jack away. Oh, Stu, don't get me started, please. It's a, <laughs> yeah, it's an unfair rule. These guys are so good on their conversion shots, they'd much prefer to go last for our non-bowling viewers. For all time, except for the last year or so, uh, the winning team <laughs> of each end can now give the mat away and play last, whereas previous, you had to take the mat every time you won the end, which means the losing team would get the last bowl on the next end. But now, the winning team, like Gary Lawson, won that last end. He's given the mat away and will play last again. It's just such a big advantage to play last. And as a former world indoor champion player, um, the Scottish side seem to have adapted from playing a lot indoors to the outdoor greens very quickly. Yes, they have, and um, you know, over the years, Stu, they've done so well in the World Championships. Well, he's not going to be happy with this. Needs to miss. Oh, almost gave the shot away, but uh, luckily, New Zealand's still holding one. They have furnished good results, haven't they, in uh, indoor? 
Yeah, well, although in the World Outdoor Championships it's been played for about 10 times and Scotland have won the team trophy, Stu, five out of the 10 occasions. They've won the, uh, the pairs on two occasions and uh, the triples also on two occasions and the fours once. This is the skip for Scotland, Darren Burnett. One down, he's got two opportunities. But he's always looks narrow and it'll slide across. Yes, but it's one down, Darren Burnett, Stu, but he's got three seconds now and uh, Gary Lawson, he'll know how important this next bowl of his will be to get another bowl near the jack because Darren will be attacking with more weight with his next bowl if Lawson fails here. Gary Lawson. successful nine times nationally has not really transferred that internationally before to a high level but uh, this is a huge chance for him not it's only here but also with this bowl any promotion will help him and well this is a definite shot now and could it be two could be, but uh, there's a nice backhand weighted shot here for Darren Stew. peel off Lawson's pink bowl May get both shot bowls out, or better still, trail the jack. Burnett on the run. Always looks wide, could get a huge wicket, which might help him. Okay. Not enough. Very quick on the mat, just, uh, I'm amazed how quick he is. Just doesn't look, just up and bless a go. Yes, a lot of Scottish players, they don't get any formal coaching, and uh, they start at a very young age, between, you know, six and ten years of age, go down to the public bowling greens in Scotland with their mum and dad, and just roll a few bowls down, and uh, that's why they're such good bowlers at a young age. No real consistency with their technique, but just play with so much passion. Come on, mate, hurry now. And regarded hurry. by many people as uh, hey, the best players in the world, generally Scotland. Well, well, that's a smart bowl, just behind. So we'll see Burnett again. He's having a good look at his line. And uh, he's got an opportunity still there, isn't it? Nothing's changed. Just a question, Stu, how much weight? I think he's pondering, can he just skirt that front bowl there? Russell Myers, see if he, he says if you go big, Billy Mellors and hits that brown bowl now where his toe is, could come off, spew into the head and maybe move the shot bowls or the jack. Well, that's the plan, and Darren Burnett makes his way to the mat. Pick up his blue bowl. Billy Scotsman from Arbroath and the police officer. You'll be on the run, still not the full-blooded drive. It could have another result apart from getting the brown bowl. He might get the jack itself. No, he gets the red bowl, the Russell Meyer bowl out. Had two opportunities. Also took um, Gary Lawson's bowl out, Stu, as well, just behind the head. So with one bowl to play, he's now got a good opportunity. New Zealand holding one, but Scotland have got second, third, fourth, and fifth nearest to the jack. So in bowls language, that's Four seconds to Scotland. Gary Lawson must draw another bowl near the jack. Gary Lawson on the forehand. Mort Young indicated a shot to New Zealand, but uh, there's some discussion that, uh, in fact, it's Scotland that could have the shot. What's your view? Either way, I think, well, that might have blocked the backhand. Oh, no, he could get through those two front bowls, top of screen. I think Burnett will attack that pink bowl and just hope for no movement of the jack. It's a wonderful opportunity. Gary Lawson has still got one to play, Stu, but this is too good an opportunity. They've already scored five on the opening end. Another opportunity now to peel the Lawson bowl clean out of the head, and they'd be holding four. You need a lot more weight. Need to go probably pretty big, Stu, and I think he'd have to change from the backhand. He needs to drive on the forehand through the gap. One dollar. And full weight. Uh, he's been running. Let's just see if he has got the the power play here. More weight. Good line. 
He's got the port. Now he's got the pink bowl, and it goes through the head. Well, Gary Lawson's having a close look at this too to see who's got shot. I don't think this is uh, just an easy decision. Well, if you had a bet on this, I can assure you in the commentary box, you could make a lot of money if you got it right. So you always favour the flat bowls, do you? Ron, Ron Snowden's going for <laughs> New Zealand. Terry Scott's got $10 out and going for Scotland. I'm sitting on the fence. John McPhee's got no idea. And Ian Schubert? Well, I think this is the shot bowl in the hand of Gary Lawson right now. <laughs> He's on the fence. Forehand side, Gary Lawson. Has he got the shot? If he hasn't, he's trying to get with this bowl here. Always looks short to me. Will it arrive? No, it won't. It gets wooded slightly now. We'll be put out of our misery as the one to New Zealand. <laughs> Terry Scott's never wrong either. So the scoreline reads 8 5 after six ends. Well, there's plenty of discussion, Shui, and uh, I've never known Terry Scott to be wrong. Well, it was a lucky uh, let off there for New Zealand, Stu, because uh, they had, uh, Gary Lawson had one in the head, but Scotland had four seconds, and Darren Burnett missed the forehand drive, and we saw with that last Gary Lawson bowl, he dropped short, so sometimes you only get two or three opportunities in a final like this to score a big count, and. Uh, Scotland have already scored 1-5, and that was maybe a missed opportunity to score a 4. First bowl there from Billy Mellors on the seventh end is behind the head. I think the battle of the leads has evened up slightly. Yes, well, Billy Mellors, Stu, he started off and he was all over the jack. He was in love with the jack, but look at him now. He's two metres beyond. That's what a bit of pressure can do. I'm interested about the green conditions with a Perhaps a little bit more warmth than the air than we had early this morning with the rain. It uh, might be a little bit sticky, perhaps, just a little bit of the, the moisture coming to the surface. Yeah, well, when the moisture does come up, it does tend to slow the cotula greens down. But really, Stu, on a scale of 1 to 10, I mean, this is a 9. It's ideal conditions. Yeah, it is. Here's the delivery of Russell Meyer now. And the... Uh, the spray gun is out at the moment, but this one from Russell Meyer is on target, and he has the shot. of the coloured bowls and uh, the game has made it a great spectacle now for the spectators to see who's got shot, who's closest. I and mean, they're all black, it was very difficult. Yes, Stu, and I, you know, I think the time's not too far away when uh, one country will be asked to, like Scotland, could be playing with all blue, for instance, and New Zealand with all black bowls. It would make it so much easier for a, a television viewers rather than put the coloured discs on. I suppose the ultimate to that discussion is the players all use the same bowls, full stop. Yes, and uh, a colour of their choice, meaning the country, I'd say New Zealand, would probably play with black, or maybe wh well, the white bowls have just been banned now, I believe. So, And it would be normal for Scotland to be playing with all blue bowls. Uh, the players don't have to pay for their bowls. They're all sponsored by the various manufacturers. What a beautiful shot, Russell Meyer. Bit of a target, but holding two. So I guess the white bowl is banned because it's too much like a jack, but, but a lot bigger. <laughs> well, well, the yellow bowl's like the jack now. What's the difference, Stu? <laughs> yes, it was strange. Uh, Mark Casey from Australia was uh, 
played with a white first set of white bowls and the World Bowls Board apparently rushed through a ruling to say that they weren't allowed to play with them anymore. Scoreline 8-5, 6 of the 18 ends gone, 18 ends played in the pairs and opportunity here and gets to Jack Lean, follows her into the ditch, he's live and so it is shot, what a great bowl, very good bowl indeed by Darren Burnett, picks up the jack, puts it in the cage and it's Canary in the cage. Amazing, New Zealand play big weights generally on these greens but look at this controlled, swings nicely onto the jack and follows it all the way through to the ditch and for our non-bowling viewers that's marked with chalk, it remains alive in the ditch. And even if Gary Lawson fell on top of the jack and touched the jack, that is not a toucher, it will be a dead bowl. So he needs to draw near the jack without going into the ditch. Very difficult for Gary Lawson to rest initiated away from the Scotland team here. But this will show the talent of the little guy on the draw. <laughs> it's a great effort from Gary Lawson. That's superb. Well, it's better than that. That's as good as you'll ever see. I'm not sure whether he has the shot. It's a brilliant bowl. I'll take him off, mate. Take him off. The problem for New Zealand, though, is Stu and Gary Lawson, and Gary would know he needs another bowl somewhere away from that one because I would expect Darren Burnett with his last bowl to be attacking that pink bowl. Oh, he's trying to turn it into the ditch now and stay, but it looks too wide. No, Lawson, you see there, is just a short way away from the ditch. And he has an opportunity with his last. It's hard to beat the bowl in the ditch, though, Lawson. It's on its way. I guess he's just trying to get a turn on his own bowl. Does not want to sit it alongside. I guess the crucial thing now is to see the, um, the second shot. So he's got second and third shot. Yeah, they're a fair way up the green, Stu, but I think uh, New Zealand have got third nearest to the jack. So Darren, again, trying to turn the Lawson Bowl into the ditch and stay on deck, but long way wide. you look at the scoring it is quite interesting isn't it eight five and the whole five on one end to uh, the Scotland side so they haven't scored since well, unless Darren Burnett does something silly I think they should score on this end although you know, there's no confirmation who's holding you would think the toucher in the ditch would be nearer see the jack is quite a way back from what's called the plinth the edge of the green It's too dangerous to try and dead draw. I think Darren will play some sort of weight again. Try to hit the Lawson Bowl into the ditch and stay on deck for a count of two. So the last bowl being played by Darren Burnett. That won't alter the count. So Scotland's I'm pretty sure he's got one, got one in the ditch. Looking at a lot of interest as Billy Miller's the lead and Gary Lawson with his last. Yeah, that was a very disappointing bowl from Darren. It uh, really just didn't give it a chance at all. I thought he would have tried to turn the New Zealand bowl into the ditch and stay and uh, that first end to Scotland, what a score. Five on the first and haven't scored since, but they're about to, we think, on the steep seventh end. As Gary Lawson with this bowl here can just put a roll <laughs> on his own bowl. It'll swing across and it won't change anything. So it will be one to Scotland. And it is the one to Scotland. And the score now reads 8 6 after seven of the 18 ends.
what's amazing about today is just the, the lack of wind, although perhaps a breeze is just surfacing slightly. But uh, after yesterday, it's just uh, unbelievable. It's the same country. Yes, yeah, so and this back green at uh, Burnside, it's a real amphitheatre. The ground stands all around. And Scotland gave away the jack and the chain of tactics here for New Zealanders. They've gone short with the jack. Yes, well, Russell Myers just dropped half a metre short. Billy Mallows has just snuck in for the shot, but uh, that will force both players, I would suggest, onto the backhand side now. It's a length that I think that uh, Lawson and Meyer like. It's their sort of length, isn't it? They played a lot. I also think, Stu, it's easier for Gary Lawson to get out of trouble. Um, if the head builds up in a nasty fashion. He's got such an accurate drive, Gary Lawson. He's not afraid to attack. And uh, for our non-bowling viewers, it's a lot easier to hit a head uh, the shorter distance um, of over 25 or 26 metres compared to maximum distance of 33 metres away from the mat. I don't think we've seen Gary Lawson unleash the full-blooded drive yet, have we? We've just seen the runner. And throughout the tournament, he's played that very firm weighted shot where it you know, only bends a few centimetres and with controlled weight, just as effective. So Myers replied to Mellor's shot bowl. And that is now the shot from Russell Meyer. Quickly into his work is the lead for Scotland. Six bowls played, all short of the jack. That's poor leading. No correction at all from either lead. Really do need one of your first two bowls beyond the jack. A little wind and uh, the skill of the skips. Uh, quite often, most ends, the jack will be shifted. Very rarely does it go forward. A couple of shots, and he's kept his record of keeping them all between the mat and the jack, none behind, and I think that Russell Meyer wasn't too happy with that either. He was wanting to be behind the head. I see a bit of weight here, Stu, to rumble up here and open the head up. And the jack, what a beautiful result. What a beautiful result, that's a toucher. He'd be hoping both jack and bowl go into the ditch, and they're not going to, but oh, sneaks around. What a beautiful result for Scotland. Well, not only can Miller draw, he can also play the runner. And he played it well there, didn't he? You see the jack coming back, plus the toucher, which is the burgundy bowl, and it gets a nice little hook behind as well. Just couldn't be better for the Scotland pair. Uh, the good thing for New Zealand is that it didn't go all the way back to the ditch because then they'd be doing exactly what they try to do in the last end, trying to retrieve the situation with the touch in the ditch. Now it's a battle of the draw of the leads. Gary Lawson first off. This is where the advantage comes from having the last bowl. Gary Lawson doesn't have much room to draw the shot and he's not going to have last bowl to attack with, so he's going to have to draw his way out of trouble. Burnett with one, looking to make it two. Good bye, Disappointed with that effort. Two shots though, Stu. It's counting. It has to be beaten. Blocking the forehand draw too. That's right in Gary Lawson's draw. He might have to conjure up some weighted shot here. Not a good head for Gary to be playing at here. What do I play, says the Russell Meyer. Can't see anything. See 
looks like that very often. He's usually pretty confident what he's going to do, but uh, quite rightly said, he's blocked. And uh, he's just going to hope that he can go through a port or waits good or push himself through. He got the port, but he went right through. That's the weight that got him through there, though, isn't it? He had two chances, I guess. So unlucky. If he just got an edge of his previous bowl, couldn't even come onto the jack or the shot bowl. Very important here for Darren not to open this head up, leave that blue bowl alone. He doesn't want to move that. Not sure whether it's hanging around the third shot. Close for the third. Young, the indicator, could give us some indication. No, he's uh, undecided. Previous shot was a good angle. How far those the second and third shots are away from the jack? That's why Gary's not happy. He needs to get a close bowl, but the short bowls are blocking the draw shot. Two shots on. Either try to draw a second shot or play wait, hoping to take out one of the Scottish counters. Playing the draw shot. The line looks very similar to the last one. But it's not going to come back from there. He decided that time, rather than to play through the bowls, he's going around them. Oh, yeah, he's just trying to get second shot and then saving his last bowl for a drive. Close for second, they're having a good look. I think that very short bowl Stu is um, Russell Meyer played is blocking the drive to get the shot bowl out there. Yep. You see that bowl right up there on the left of screen. That there's three short bowls and the one nearest to us there is blocking the drive. So Gary Lawson, if he's going to attack, he's going to have to swing around Russell Meyer's short bowl. He gave us the warning signs early on regarding this head when this jack goes back. And at the moment, if uh, Darren Burnett can draw another shot here, New Zealand's in danger. It's a bit like chess. You, you, you've got to think three or four bowls ahead. No good just trying to draw every bowl near the jack. As Russell Meyer did with his first three bowls, he didn't have one past yeah. the jack. Billy Mallers comes up, trails the jack five or six metres away from all the Russell Meyer bowls, and Gary Lawson now. Bit of a stew here. He could be two or three down. He might be one down. He could be three down. <laughs> well, he's two down. And Mort Young is showing us the indicator that he is two down. So for Lawson's shot now. Oh, I think he's got to defend uh, Stu. I think he needs to just try and draw a second shot and hope that Darren Burnett cannot see this bowl. Get it around the short two and hide it. Just go one down, but no, he's attacking for the jack. He's on the run and he misses everything. Well, it's two. Chance for the bonus with the last bowl. Rather than the attack will be the bonus draw bowl. And really he's got a ton of room. Just wouldn't want to push up the pink. Gary Lawson bowlers in the running. This is only danger. Easy yet, mate. Pretty good too. And he's played it. Oh, it's running on. Just runs on. Gee, was he be disappointed with the bonus? Yeah, I think he was afraid of being wide, so he's just focusing too much to you on the line, not rather than the weight. He's certainly happy to score a multiple count on this end. At least draw level. So two shots to Scotland and after eight, it's locked together at eight all. contest in the gold medal match here at Burnside in the World Championships. Got together eight all after eight. And it's a close encounter. Pretty even off the front. Burnett's been good as the skip. 
adding and also attacking well. It's evenly matched. Great clash this one, just couldn't be closer, eight all after eight ends, playing the ninth and the opener from Russell Meyer is good, it's behind the jack and of course in that last end, Ian Schubach told us that if you haven't got bowls behind the jack, you're not going to be part of the count, well that happened in the last end but uh, you'll be a bit more encouraged for the start from Russell Meyer. Yes, both leads, uh, it's amazing Stu how often it happens if one lead plays a good opening bowl that the other opposition player generally follows suit but we saw yesterday in the blustery conditions, it, it was really about holding your nerve and trying to get a bowl within a metre and a half of the jack. Different today. Skill really of all four players coming to the fore. Oh, Russell Meyer, he'd be absolutely livid with that. Oh, that is an unbelievable bowl. Maybe he's tried to learn the lesson from the previous end, get one in back of the rink early on. He just can't please you, can he? But he's uh, he's behind the head, but he's too far back this time. So he's let uh, Billy Mellors in with a great chance uh, on the draw, and he's running too. Could have been an instruction from Gary Lawson, just get one back early on when, when we've got the shots. And New Zealand are holding. So maybe it is a smart move and a deliberate move from Russell Meyer. Nice line. Rest gets no shot. Oh, he's uh, definitely learnt not to be short. He's now at least playing on to bowls, and that's where the English side, Scotland, Wales, are so good playing through the head normally. Those situations is uh, what they is their trademark, isn't it? Just playing through the head. Yes, and they do even on these Cochula greens. Um, they're a lot harder to play that controlled weighted shot compared generally on fast greens there's only two shots to play a draw and a drive or a very firm running shot whereas the Scots tend to play those in between weighted shots so well and we've seen Billy Myers and Darren Burnett both playing wonderful conversion shots in this final Russell Meyer arrives right on top of the jack and behind it as well that's superb lawn bowls We've seen the draw of Russell Meyer, and this is at its best. And now we see the draw of Billy Mellors. Can you beat that one? No target from Russell as well, Stu. He's put it right behind the jack, so they're going to have to draw their... Oh, look at this. Look at this. What a bowl. Superb bowl from Billy Mellors of Scotland. Rest initiative away. This is good draw bowls. Look at them, just can't get closer than that. Well, that was Russell Meyer's best end, Stu, and uh, he'd be absolutely gutted now. Look at that. Double kiss the jack off the <laughs> Russell Meyer bowl, followed through, three down to one up. Just a two pressure bowl for this last. Gary Lawson now, he's just uh, taking the jacket off. We warming up slightly. And uh, jacket's off. Bowl. This is where that uh, second bowl that Russell played, Stu, is probably the best bowl on the ring. See the one near Russell Meyer's foot? That's where Lawson will be hoping to spring the jack back toward. He's got the bowl out clean, made three shots. Brilliant. Absolute brilliant bowl from the New Zealand skip Gary Lawson. That's the matter's best. Just arrived, sprung the jack slightly. And there it is, you see the results. Now, here it is. Look at this from Gary Lawson. Sprung the jack pack slightly, got rid of the burgundy bowl, and gets one, two, three shots. That shot required so much nerve from Gary Lawson to play with delicate weight. A lot of players would have played bigger weight than that, but exquisite touch from the New Zealand skip. Oh, it's a shaky bowl. Needs to clear the front. Billy Mellor's going a bit of encouragement, but, uh, well, when you're down, you've got to be up. You've got to be in 
towards the head. You've got to be playing a shot into the head. You've got to get some movement. Yes, yeah, so your luck starts when you reach the head. You cannot get the shot if you drop short of the jack. Especially when two or three down. It's, uh, it made the conversion shot a little bit more difficult. It's pushed Billy Mellor's bowl off the centre line. Gary Lawson will love this head. I think what he might try to do here, Stu, is cover one of the Scottish bowls that are just beyond the jack. Well, that's poured almost everything into the count. That could be five shots. Mort Young, the uh, indicator. It would be nice to indicate now, Mort. <laughs> Well, I think Gary Lawson's made five shots, Stu. That was absolutely brilliant. Pressure now on Burnett. It's in the area. Takes one out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Lawson would love that result because he's taken the shoulder yeah. away from the jack, which could have rested on. And uh, Russell Meyer calling Lawson to the head saying, look, this is too good to upset. Probably tell Gary Lawson to keep away from it. There's two bowls to come from each player. It's a huge opportunity here. Gary Lawson, for him, the entry back. Must not sit one jack high near the jack. Um, the line is the most crucial. Must really pass the jack too, I think. I don't think he'd be too worried if this is behind and out of the way. Sometimes when you get greedy, you can just open up a potential shot for your opponent. He's already holding at least four, I would think. Oh, it's definitely five. Definitely five. Oh, get five, and there's only four near the jack, Stuart. <laughs> the one out there at 8 o'clock yeah, is the, the Scottish one. Bowl. Yeah, I've got that. Nice yeah, try, but yeah. <laughs> still holding four. Well, Burgundy <laughs> Bowl, yes, yes, I've got it now. Definitely four. You're right, shoot. Australians are always right. Not always. Uh, this is a huge bowl coming up now for Darren. He, there's nothing to rest on. He cannot attack with weight. There's only a saving draw shot on the forehand. He's played two. First one was short. Second one, heavy. Can he split the difference? Four down. Crucial bowl on this. The ninth end, locked together, eight all. Four shots being held at the moment by New Zealand. Well, it's... Tracking towards the head. It gets a slide and it gets the shot and touch up. What a beautiful slide. Oh, it's not. That's cruel. That's cruel. That's just not fair. What a bowl, Darren. He had the right weight. He was narrow, Stu. He got the slight feather off the short one. I always, I thought he was narrow. I thought he was going to really go into hammer into his own blue bowl. That's the line I thought I had for a while. And he's hidden the bowl out of sight. And Billy Mellows. Oh yeah, he likes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> big boys are happy from Scotland. Uh, been a wrestling. One thing in his favour was that it had the weight to get there. The weight was perfect. And uh, when you play with good weight, you generally get good luck. For Gary Lawson? Trying to trail the jack. Just trying to trail the jack. He's got one just behind. Just too wide. Will not turn on that hand with that type of weight. Billy Mellor's no danger for Billy to swap on the to the backhand. <laughs> See Billy there saying to Darren, come in on this side now, the right hand side, sit on the pink bowl, no danger. What a saving bowl from the Scottish skip Darren Burnett. Yeah, we should mark that one up. Four down to score with a single opportunity for another with the bonus. Could be the turning point. Could be. Scotland won the World Pairs 2000 with George Snedden and Alex Marshall. 92 with Richard Causey and Alex Marshall again. And brilliant shot. Down Burnett. Didn't want the bonus, but got the single, and it's nine ends gone. It's uh, Scotland leading by nine to eight.
It's a very cool game. Yes, well, Gary Lawson and Russell Myers, gee, they would have almost had that four on the scorecard. It looks so safe. And it took a perfect executed forehand draw shot from Darren Burnett to snuff out what would look like being a massive scoring end for New Zealand. Jack's been delivered, and uh, interest here that uh, again New Zealand has the jack because Scotland gave it to him, and they've now stretched it out a bit to three quarter end. Yes, well, <laughs> I think if you, not that uh, the, certainly the game's in the balance at the moment, uh, Stu, but if you ever lose a game, you must say to yourself, you've tried every possible length, every jack position, every mat position, and New Zealand are just trying to find a a chink in the armour of Scotland and they're finding it hard work. Okay. Russell Meyer, good opening bowl, but once again another short bowl. out at the last minute but a, a better bowl from him now Russell Meyer it's strange this Stu on the first few ends of this final the both the leads had the line especially Billy Mallows he was nailing the line and had three bowls here that have missed the line the breeze has not sprung up not sure whether see they all those bowls have missed the line and it's really worrying for a player if uh, you'd like to be just looking at line and concentrating 100% on weight. But when you start missing the line, you then start to think about line and what happens is you miss the weight. Yeah, this ball looks... The line was good, but just overweight. Yeah, at no stage can you say that they've all got on the draw and got the line and grouped around the, the jackets. It, 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 has, it hasn't been easy. No, and I think it's also indicative, Stu, of the pressure of this final. I mean, world championship titles, uh, they don't come along too often. And uh, Gary Lawson, he's been around a long while, the legend of New Zealand bowls, but just has been a slight underperformer on the international stage. Good opportunity here for Billy Millers of Scotland. Right on the jack, gets a toucher and rests behind it. Well, he'd be happy with that as last bowl. Yes, and Russell Myers' short bowl is blocking the backhand side for a runner, and that's the side that Lawson would like to play. The, the, the bowl, the shot bowl is available on the backhand side more than the forehand. But Russell Myers' short bowl there, a metre and a half up the green is blocking the backhand drive. And it's just so detrimental to Gary's game. His game is when attack, attack, and these short bowls are doing no good at all to him. Well, he's going to have to play touch weight here, just a metre over and come around the Russell Meyer short bowl. But if he plays too much weight, it won't turn enough. Got a chance. Oh, what a superb ball by the leprechaun. Sprung the jack back, and it's still probably Malibu's got shot. It is. Yes, but at least he's opened up the head, Stu. That was a brilliant backhand conversion. Oh, gee, pressure bowl. He played it perfectly. He's got three left now to draw the shot, so tough shot, that. Well, it's one of the toughest shots in the book, isn't it? And and he just he's played it twice now in this game. Brilliantly. The, to have the weight... And also the line for that sort of swing is just incredible. Yes, but after a backhand conversion, he's got to now come back to a forehand draw shot. And if Darren Burnett puts his first bowl near the jack, look, oh, that's a waste. Absolute a waste. 
Oh, the battle of the draw now. Lawson against Burnett. With Lawson now on the draw. Now, this will be a test for the little man. Green Stew has slightly slowed since the start of the final. We're seeing so many short bowls now on the draw, just that half a metre to a metre short. Generally, when you get nervous, you drop short, but these four players, they're too experienced to suffer a nerve, especially at this stage in the match. It's a long way to go. Yeah, I think it's uh, just a little bit sticky, perhaps, with the slight warmth. Sun's not out, but it's definitely uh, brightening the sky, and I think that makes a difference. Well, that's another poor bowl from Darren Burnett. Gary Lawson, I think he, he made shot with his previous bowl. It's about a metre short. And uh, I don't think he'll have any problem at all to add a second. Lawson has one, looking to make it two. Forehand draw bowl. And he's not happy. Well, he's thrown that out so wide. Not happy with that at all. What well, he's going over green, which hadn't been played on at all, it was always going to be slow. It was far too wide, wasn't it? So it had no show. <laughs> I don't think he's too happy. No, he's, as soon as he let it go, he showed some discontent with it. So he knew the minute it left his hand that it was wide. And uh, he's still stamping around a bit, the little fella. Yes, but Darren hasn't really put the pressure on Gary. He's had two attempts and failed both times, Stu, and, and this is a must bowl here. He really must draw the shot to, re not only to regain the shot, but put more pressure on Gary Lawson. If he fails here, Lawson's likely to draw right on top of the jack. Ooh, that's not there. Oh, oh, a yard, mate, tops. Two feet's great. So oh, this is Gary Lawson. Better line this time. He's far happy with it. Yeah, I think that's the number one shot. Great bowl from Gary Lawson. Holding definitely one, probably two. And Darren Burnett, he wouldn't be a happy man at the moment. He's had three attempts, nowhere near the jack. Look at those blue bowls. First one, long way short. Second one, heavy and narrow. Third one, narrow and short. He's two down. Surely cannot be considering a drive. Lead Billy Mellors, bit of clapping to Edge, the policeman on, crucial bowl again. I guess they're all crucial, but this one, when you're a couple down and, and when you swing the tape around, you might find you another one down. I think it's definitely two. You swung the tape around, I think the burgundy bowl would come into the count. Always more difficult when the jack is off the centre line, which it is now, but you would expect a player of Darren's class to be able to draw it. He needs to miss the Lawson bowl. He does not want to hit Lawson's bowl out wide. We'll wait and see with the indicator here. So they pick up two, and it's New Zealand that leads by 10 to 9. 10 9, New Zealand over Scotland after 10 ends. 10 9 lead. He's got plenty of room to draw another shot. He's already drawn one to the edge of the ditch. He's got acres to draw. Surely he's going to play the percentage shot, and he does. On the draw, does he want the bonus? Has two, looking to make it three. Tracking towards the jack now. Has it got the weight? Is yes. it there? Yes, it is there. Three shots, superb bowls from the leprechaun, Gary Lawson. He picks up a three and he leads by 15 to nine. New Zealand over Scotland after 13 ends.
Jack delivered. Ball from Billy Mellors is on its way. Just moves past. Well, Bowls 2008 gold medal match. Gary Lawson and Russell Meyer of New Zealand. Ball delivered by the lead Billy Mellors of Scotland. Russell Myers replies sensational right on the jack. Excellent ball from Russell Meyer and surely he must have got the encouragement from Gary Lawson after the couple of draw balls that he played on the previous end. Drawing to the jack in the ditch, added the bonus shots, picked up a three for New Zealand. They've gone out to a 15-9 lead. This is a great opportunity for New Zealand. It was 1988 that New Zealand last won the peers at the World Bowls. Rowan Brassey and Peter Ballas when this event was held at the Henderson Club in Auckland. And 20 years on, can it be repeated by Lawson and Meyer here at Burnside? Good reply from Mellors. Rest the initiative of the way from Meyer, right on the jack. It's a good battle up front now. They're playing extremely well this way. And reply from Russell Meyer. Just not quite there. Yes, it's certainly taken some time for this uh, game to warm up uh, this afternoon. It's been uh, a pretty state of fear in the early stages, but we've seen some excellent bowls from all four players in the latter stages, particularly from the New Zealand team. 9-8 down they were after the nine ends, and four ends later, they're leading by 15 to nine. It's been a great effort, and particularly we refer to the shot that Gary Lawson played on the 12th end, when he was five down and drew a front toucher and put the real pressure on Darren Burnett to take it out. He failed with his drive, and it was Lawson who was totally well he was just really excited and his confidence came back into the game and uh, it was an outstanding ball from Gary Lawson so the burgundy bowl of Billy Mellors holds shot so Meyer towards the back no problem there any attack and it'll be could be a catcher could be a scorer later on in the head Yes, it's a good bowl from Russell Meyer. Although he hasn't got the shot, he's got two very good second shots, and by putting a bowl behind, it gives uh, the opportunity to either himself or Lawson uh, for movement of the jack. Gary Lawson instructs Russell Meyer just to draw, mate, just to draw. So. Keen, I'm short, sure, keep the game tight. You have bowls on the head. You have position bowls for movement. Chance here, and just that's close. Still the one shot to Mellis, but Gary Lawson, he will not be upset with the bowls for Russell Meyer on this occasion. They're, they're three great bowls. It's given them opportunities to play with weight into the head. Though he's one down. Russell Meyer, if we look at this bowl, gave it a chance. Oh, he just, if he hadn't have fallen out, he may well have got the shot. It's a very good bowls from Russell Meyer. Gary Lawson having another gnaw on the nails. I think he's probably chewing the ends of his fingers off by now. <laughs> uh, do you thought for gold? I'd do the same, I think, if I could ex exchange my fingernails for gold medal. Oh, mate, I don't think we ever see you in this situation. Oh. Quite a nice retort. Well, I have seen you throw the odd ball or two up the green, and really, to be quite honest, I'm pleased you've given it away. You're obviously forgetting Northeast Valley in 2001, when in a 3 n contest I beat you? Yes, but I actually gave you six start. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving on to the bowls at Burnside as New Zealand goes for gold. We just see Darren Burnett standing there, rubbing his ear and signs of concern on his face. What he's going to be able to do to get back on the scoreboard. He hasn't scored for four ends. Lawson playing down on the forehand with some weight, trying to get some movement on the Meyer bowl. Looks to be coming in on a pretty good angle. How's he looking? Right on all he needed. He just needs a touch more weight to get into the into the area of splitting the two bowls that we can see the Meyer bowl on the left hand side and the Burgundy bowl of Mellors. He's opened it up a little bit. He's given himself a better opportunity now. 
Darren Burnett would be pretty oh, happy. He just got some slight oh, movement of the jack back to those two burgundy bowls. You see towards the bottom of the screen. That's what he'd be looking for. He does, does, is he in that situation where he needs to play these sort of shots now to score? Yes, he's wanting to come on to the Meyer bowl. It's, uh, well, it's at the top of the, of the three bowls of Meyer's. And then he propel that onto the burgundy bowl. The jack comes back and we've got the two burgundy bowls of uh, Malazan behind. Looking to get some movement of the jack there, but and Lawson. for Gary Lawson, he would want to be in a catching position. Well, <laughs> yes, it's uh, a situation that uh, both players are going to have to be reasonably precise with the shot that they do play. Yeah, Gary Lawson <laughs> will be on the forehand again, looking to get some split in the gap, follow through, pick up the shot. Kadichi edge the Mellers bowl completely out of the head and lay about four or five. Gary Lawson, forehand. Fingernails don't look too good, do they? He certainly needs to wait. Can he get an edge off these balls and get a result? Yes, he did. Wow. Got an edge off the wing balls. He's a little bit fortuitous, but any movement of the jack in the direction that it did go was going to give him the shot. And that's what he ended up with. So we look at it again. It's the pink bowl of Gary Lawson coming off the blue bowl. Jack getting edged over. Lawson lying one, two. Two shots, probably. Two shots, definitely two. Just looked across at Mort Young, the shot indicator. He indicated two. And uh, he's playing the contest. Lawson playing the shots. Just got no nerves. He might be uh, doing a good job of the fingernails, but he's got no nerves when he's playing the bowl. As I said, it's the confidence has come back into his game. And, uh, he's playing as if he's not really worried if he's up or down at the present time. He's uh, certainly a lot more relaxed than what he was earlier. Darren Burnett needs to score. He needs to get the scoreboard moving. Darren Burnett of Scotland hasn't scored for four ends. In fact, he's uh, only been in front of twice. In number one and scored a five. In number nine, and he draws a shot. Well done, Darren Burnett. Crucial ball, pressure ball, and he played it. Yes, once again, it was a move jack out to the side of the rink, and uh, I heard you discussing earlier as we see the bowl of Darren Burnett coming in, that uh, just a change of circumstances when the jack moves to the side, and it, uh, it's always, uh, well, it's not everybody's liking is to play to an off-centre jack, but a very good bowl and a crucial bowl on that occasion from Darren Burnett. One down. Crowd very silent with this bowl. You gain opportunity just to push through the blue bowl that's right next to the jack. Just needs a huge whip because he's had to go through the hole. You see the blue bowl just look left of the right to the jack. Want to play down just on that blue bowl. Any movement of that of that blue bowl off, he'd be back to two. He stayed there, of course. Money's well, put too much weight to stay there, wasn't he? He, was, he wasn't looking at staying there. He was, he was looking at playing the bowl completely off the head and hoping he just got the edge of it, which would take his running bowl off to the other side and uh, his two shots would remain. Good effort from Gary Lawson, but uh, the bowl didn't bite just as quick as he would have liked. So the opportunity now, we need to add to it. Scotsman, they'll be pleased. They're back on the scoreboard again. Holding one. 15-9 behind. Four ends to go after the completion of this end. That's two shots to Darren Burnett in Scotland. Played it brilliantly. Two very good draw bowls. Now the leprechaun, Gary Lawson, will play just the same sort of shot as last time. No worse, mate. No worse. We need to look at playing with some weight into it. It depends how much he controls his weight. He's got opportunities if he's slightly wide of getting on to the red bowls of Russell Myers. If he'll play it quite as quick as he previous. He just moved on the mat for a moment. He thought he was going to go just uh, to the right hand side of the mat as we're looking at it here on screen he's on nope. the run on the run is gary lawson looking for target missed it 
So it is two to Scotland after 14 of the 18 ends in the battle for gold. It's New Zealand that leads by 15 to 11. Still at a crucial stage in terms of 15 11 for the difference. Four ends. Well, there's, uh, there's only four points different, four ends to go. I mean, it's anybody's game at this particular stage. These players are, are, are playing so well <laughs> that it can come down to the last bowl on any end to determine who's going to get the, uh, to get the shot. It is just so tight in the battle for gold here at Burnside. New Zealand leading 15-11, 14 ends gone, just four to go. Lead bowls have been delivered both. You can see on screen now to the right, that's Billy Miller's Scotland's bowl. To the left is Russell Myers' bowl. A superb draw bowl for Toucher. And nonchalantly looks around. That is very, very good. The silver fern. And the red bowl right alongside the jack. And Billy Miller's reply. Just too deep, mind you. I mean, there's a bowl adjacent to the jack. You're sometimes a bit inclined to want to a little bit of weight on, get some movement. I suppose he'd been happy if he had got that. Yes, well, he's given the bowl a chance. It, uh, it always looks you know, encouraging to play with some weight to it. Really, they don't want to get any too many loose bowls and allow New Zealand the opportunity to, to pick up a number of shots. They've got to keep it tight, Scotland, if they want to stay in the game. They've got to make sure that if they're going to drop any shots, they're only dropping one. It's very crucial for them at this stage. It's important that Billy Mellors gets something close for Darren Burnett to be able to play a shot. Just a little bit wayward with his uh, first three bowls on this the fourth last end, the 15th end of the 18 end game. Meyer on the draw. Good end for him. This the 15th. Play. Got bowls around the head and they're all behind the head too. And the uh, back told us earlier in the day just how important that is. Certainly so. And uh, Gary Lawson gives the uh, bowl of Gary uh, of Russell Myers a few chalk spots. He's pretty delighted to get that one in there. And uh, it's a matter of what the Scotsmen are going to play. I think it's important that they try and get another bowl on the head. They are looking at. Uh, He's playing an attacking shot. There he is, Lawson, New Zealand. Will he be wearing a gold medal around that black shirt after another four ends? The drive on the run he's got a result he's got the jack and he's killed it what a good bowl and he's done it pretty well too billy mellers a couple of occasions now he hasn't been afraid to attack the scotland lead he attacks kills the end and we replay the 15th end with the school line at 15 11 to new zealand over scotland in the battle for gold here at burnside they had a bit of an opportunity uh, New Zealand on a few occasions to shorten the length of the end and they 
a little bit shorter this time, although I think it wasn't probably meant to happen. But um, the length of the end's crucial now. I don't think it's uh, too much different previous year. Replaying the 15th end after it was cooled by the Scotland lead, Billy Mellers, and scoreline 15-11. Myers delivered his first bowl. First bowl's come now from Billy Mellers of Scotland. Yes, Billy Mellers, who was uh, so dominant in the early stages, particularly playing this way, he had it all over Russell Meyer. Just loosened up a bit, giving the New Zealanders an opportunity. Billy Mellers. Narrow on that occasion, be wanting to lay a foundation for a skip. The uh, Scots, they need to score on this end. 15 11 behind, four ends to play. Pressure on both players. And now we've got Darren Burnett, who's got the Gary Lawson disease. Nails are getting a fair chew out today. Ella's reply. couple of shots there, you see the Burgundy Bowls are holding Scotland. Still plenty of space, plenty of room for Russell Meyer. Swing across the head, this one, it's narrow. Pretty loose. Yes it is, it's uh, the one bowl of Billy Mellors within a metre of the jack and the others are Sprayed around. The Mellis doesn't look happy with that ball. Certainly a reason why, because it sails past the head and finishes some three or four metres past the jack. Three metres. Meyer's last ball, replaying the 15th end. for Mellers. It's wide. Get back from there. Yes, so that's uh, a poor end from Billy Mellers. He uh, had the opportunity to draw another shot. Plenty of room. Failed on that occasion. However, it's the skips, four bowls each. It's a classic battle of the draw now for both skips. Plenty of room. Open forehand side, so Lawson will be pretty comfortable getting a bowl on that right hand side of the jack. Or as you look on screen now, you see the burgundy bowls there, all together on the left hand side of the jack. It's a good bowl, this one from Lawson. That's where he wants to be. Great bowl and shot. Yes, a very good bowl from Gary Lawson. They have plenty of room to be able to draw the shot, and he has certainly we've seen that he's got the ability to be able to do it. Without the ability, he wouldn't have been here today. And uh, Gary Lawson uh, showing a full array of his shots this afternoon and uh, having to come back to the draw situation. Drew it with his first bowl. Still got three bowls to go, and Darren Burnett with four. The head will certainly change before it is over. chance here the bowl pink bowl or the jack pink bowl on the jack he gets the jack and drags it back and there's a catching bowl there from russell meyer well that's the beauty of having bowls on the back of the head yes russell meyer with his uh, early bowls in this head well passed and, and now coming into play and it invariably will happen in a four goal four bowl game appears.
very close. Terry Scott, give us your expertise. Oh, what's actually happening now is that Gary Lawson has given himself an opportunity with his next bowl. I, I believe he still has one down to the blue bowl. It's very, very close as we see Gary Lawson coming in with his last bowl that he played, getting on to the blue bowl of Darren Burnett, just pushing it a little bit nearer the jack, but creating some opportunities for himself. Gary Lawson's got uh, three or four bowls around the jack with only the one blue bowl there from the uh, Scottish players. As they're playing with weight, trying to change things around. He's looking to get onto the Lawson bowl. He does, cleans out the bowl, cleans out the whole three of them. What an excellent bowl from oh, Darren Burnett. Unbelievable. Marvellous bowl from Darren Burnett. Well, this is a sensational run up from Darren Burnett. On target, pink bowl, red bowl, another red bowl, and two shots. Yes, well, I think it's at least two. There could well be three or four shots there. They're spread around. There's plenty of room for Lawson to cut it back, but there's definitely the two uh, blue bowls that we can see in the picture, but I believe that the burgundy bowl that we can see sitting up to the left of the jack could well be another shot. There's a burgundy bowl up the front that may come into the count as well. So Gary Lawson now drawing to retrieve. I certainly think it's reduced the count. There's uh, one shot definitely to the Scots, and I think it can only be the one. I think it's just the one. Just looking across at uh, Mort Young, he indicated uh, one with his uh, lollipop. It's good to have it at the bowls. Someone indicating who's got shot for the spectators that are here, and it's. Uh, very helpful for us too, I can assure you. He's right at the head. Is the Kiwis pensive? Sure their mind is right on this match. Try and win it for gold. The reply now, Darren Burnett. Just slips through. Bowl to come from Gary Lawson, then the final bowl from Darren Burnett of Scotland. World Bowls 2008 gold medal match, New Zealand and Scotland. 18 ends, and we've played 14, playing the 15th now. Harry Lawson delivering his last bowl, and this is the 15th in, one down. This needs to sneak past his own front pink bowl. The blue bowl, the blue bowl of Darren Burnett is the shot. Gary Lawson tripping towards the jack. Will he sit down enough? Will it sit down and stay or carry on through? It carries on through, it's the one shot. So Burnett has the last bowl in this end. on the replay of the 15th end. Darren Burnett into his work. Has one, looking to make it two. It'll be just the single to Scotland, and it is. And it is now New Zealand leading Scotland by 15 to 12, after 15 of 18 ends, as they play for gold here at Burnside. Pressure time now, Terry Scott. What do you feel about it? Well, the Scots will certainly feel a little bit more comfortable after the last two ends. 15 9 down after 13, and coming back with a 2 and a 1. They've done the simple sums in respect of this game and uh, saying to themselves, we're three behind with three to go. We only need to carry on scoring those ones, and we're going to tie it off at the end of the game for an extra end. 
and the bonus will be if we pick up a two. The New Zealanders will be aware of that. They had four ends in a row where they went from eight to 15, uh, scoring seven shots in total, and they want to get back into the form that gave them those seven shots. Russell Meyer with his first bowl, going well past the jack, conscious that the jack has been moved on most of the ends that have been played. And it's important for Russell Meyer to have something on the, on the jack and past. New Zealand has the advantage, but it is Scotland that has the shot as they play the 16th end. As Billy Mellis parks his bowl next to the jack, Meyer's heavy with his first. Now we're watching Meyer with his second. Great reply from Russell Meyer under pressure. Yes, a very good correction from Russell Meyer. His first bowl finished some three metres past the jack, which is. Uh, which is important as well, but uh, it's important that he gets some bowls on the head for Gary Lawson, and he responded with his second bowl, finishing just centimetres away from the jack after a very good opening bowl from Billy Mellors. Oh, he has one, looking to make it two. will swing across the face of the head and also will be in front which is where Gary Lawson doesn't want bowls at the moment in front of the head he wants them behind the jack so any movement of the jack will perhaps go to one of those bowls and Russell Myers doing a good job yes it's important that he gets another bowl on the head he's got the one shot he needs another bowl on the head and he looks to be responding pretty well. Can he get in the rest on his own or he's drifting on past? Still a good bowl from Russell Meyer, just a metre past the jack. Four bowls been played from Meyer, the last from Mellors. Had reasonably good weight with each of his uh, previous three bowls, but playing them slightly narrow. Either needs to put a little bit more weight on to get the rest on the shot bowl or take a bit more green, and I don't think he has done either. Gary Lawson, you can see there, plenty of burgundy bowls, just one red bowl next to the jack. Yeah, very important for Gary Lawson now, this bowl. He needs to get another one in there. Without doubt, Darren Burnett will be attacking the shot bowl of, Ga of Russell Meyer, so it's important. Gary Lawson, he's got to get another bowl on the head. Burnett on the drive. Yep, he's attacking as Darren Burnett of Scotland. The gap, and it finds it. Well, the attacking shots from Darren Burnett haven't been totally effective today. And once again, we see the replay of this bowl going right through the middle of it all and touching nothing. He needs to get the kill. Darren Burnett, he wants the kill. So for Gary Lawson now, another position bowl. There's Russell Meyer here. We see, that's where he wants the, the bowl from Gary Lawson, right where Russell Meyer is. Between those two burgundy bowls, you can see on screen. Position bowl for Russell Meyer. That's what he's saying to Gary Lawson. Lawson's second to last bowl. And this is the final of the World Championship pairs. Gold for New Zealand or gold for Scotland. It's Lawson just drawing for position. <coughs> Yes, Gary Lawson looking to get some cover on the other side of the head. There is the two bowls of Mallers. Backing pretty well. He needs to split these two burgundy bowls down on the side. Russell Meyer gives it a little applause. Sneak past that bowl, Gazza, and you've got a great one. Yes, he has. Excellent bowl from Gary Lawson. I think the kill is the only option now for Burnett. He needs to pick up a three. 16-13 it is to New Zealand. It's gold medal in their hand at the present time. Could he just uh, see the yellow? Could he just still drag that? Could he drag the yellow to right of the screen as we look at it? Just just uh, if he drew it in, in between the two burgundy bowls and blue bowls, is that an option? It is an option, but it's a pretty pre precision shot for him to play to actually pick up the jack, take it around about a metre and a half to two metres. He's got to bring it uh, quite a distance. He's got to get it to the blue bowl and then hopefully stay there himself. 
I don't think the curvature of the bowl will allow it. So, draw a line that he would need to come down. I think he would be battling to get the jack into that position and come there himself. So, will it be a draw or will it be a drive from Darren Burnett of Scotland, the skip? That's his decision here at Burnside. He's on the drive. Is Darren Burnett of Scotland on its way now? Big gap finds it again. Exactly the same gap he went down last time. One bowl each to the skips left. One bowl perhaps for New Zealand to get a gold medal. An awesome performance from Lawson and Meyer. You see the replay of it here. The bowl splitting the two right down the same channel as he went down previously. Two bowls to go. One for Gary Lawson of New Zealand. One for Darren Burnett of Scotland. Has the golden dream of Gary Lawson come to fruition in his hometown of Christchurch? The Eastbourne player from Wellington in club play, still <coughs> plays actively in Canterbury. And this is perhaps his last bowl in the World Championships pairs in 2008. Looking for position. He's on the run as Lawson. Watching this come into position. Not quite there, but not too bad. Match one. Burnett committed to the drive. He's driven with the last two bowls. He's committed to it now. He cannot afford to take the opportunity of change in his shot. He's got a drive. He needs the kill. He needs the Jack Beer or the shop bowl onto it. Propel it out of the rink. It's the last bowl. It's one bowl away from Gary Lawson and Russell Meyer winning gold. Darren Burnett of Scotland is on the drive. Looking for the big result to save the match. It's on its way now from Darren Burnett. Looks to be on target too. Gets one out. It's gold for Gaza. Gold for Stick. The golden days of New Zealand bowls returns. Oh, excellent game and an excellent result for Gary Lawson and Russell Meyer. Forget about the disappointments in New Zealand sport over the last 12 months. It's Gary Lawson and Russell Meyer. It's a gold medal. It's a world championship title. Well done, chaps. Well done for New Zealand. And there's uh, Judy Lawson and Gemma Lawson, daughter and wife of Gary Lawson, and they are delighted to. They've known the dream for some time. The dream comes true for Lawson and Stick. Russell Meyer consistent performance throughout consistent performance throughout 16 13 it was to new zealand gary lawson and russell meyer taking out this the world appears championship title 18 13 new zealand beat scotland for gold Well, what a fantastic final. I think you'll agree, everyone, this has been a magnificent game, a very tense game between two great teams. And I'd like to congratulate Gary Lawson and Russell Meyer on behalf of, uh, of course, all New Zealanders, but also all those people watching. Uh, tension out there, Gary? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a pretty awesome game. And oh, I'm just thrilled, eh? Bloody awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped a five on the first, Russell, and, uh, and that must have been a bit of a shock being so far back. When you realised that in previous games you'd started and stuck it to the opposition? Oh, look, you know, Gaz said after the first inning, he said it's the best time to drop one. Yeah. You know, so we just hung in and managed to score the next couple of ends, which got us back, back level. Was there a turning point in the match at all, or was it just one of those ones where you hung in until the end? Oh, there were a lot of, lot of turning points, I think, but the one Gaz drew down here, the toucher, um, I think that was a crucial five down at that stage, so it was beautiful. As in the final, you'd expect uh, the opponents to be extremely tenacious, and several times they were in strong positions. You had some work to do. Yeah, they, they played awesome, and um, you know they, they would have been worthy winners if they'd got up. Um, just like to thank the crowd. The crowd were awesome. They got us home, I think, and uh, you know it was just it was just brilliant. And you know it's good to have Jude and Jimmy here, and it was just awesome, man. I think for a lot of New Zealanders, uh, last year wasn't much cop. Uh, a lot of people expected plenty and didn't uh, come away with much, but I think you've um, said to New Zealanders, 2008 has started extremely well. Congratulations, Russell. Congratulations, Gary. Enjoy the celebrations tonight, both of you. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Thanks, everybody. Brent. Thanks, Jim. Marvellous performance from Canterbury's Gary Lawson, Manawatu's Russell Meyer. They win gold for New Zealand in 2008.